So this pose is the starting to warm up the, the spine and the shoulders. So Margaret's on her side with her knees at a right angle, ankle to knee and knee ankle. Um, so we're going to just allow this hand to go to the eyebrow only and then back. Yeah. So just it just basically nudges to the eyebrow center there and back. So about the third time you give it permission to go beyond the eyebrow and you let the head go with it. So you've got to follow it all the way around. Yeah. And again, don't worry if it doesn't go to the floor. By the time you get back to the hip, your head is turning again. So if you get to your eyebrow and then move, so then take the head with it, that's it. So it's all one unit. So some of you will get the hand as far back onto the floor, towards the floor as Margaret is, and others will be way up in the air. So don't be using somebody else's body to um, necessarily judge your own. Just go with what feels right for you. There's a lovely opening going on in the shoulder, through the ribs, through the front and back, all the way down through the spine. So we're twisting this time from the top down. The last couple we did, we were coming from the bottom up. Good. One more time. So it would be a big breath in, opening the chest, following it around, breathing out. <coughs> And then stop there and just reassess, see how you're feeling. Great, and I will grab this and you can turn around and bring yourself to this end, otherwise you'll be putting your back to the ground. Lovely. So, right angle, knees up at the height of the hips, feet in line with the knees, getting nice and comfortable. Right. Settling in, feeling how you feel between the two sides. And then when you're ready, just to the eyebrow, and back to the eyebrow and back and then on about the third time open it all the way up moving all the way around and again remember you might have different issues going on in this side from the side you first did which is usually the case so just allowing the body to let you in working on softening and breathing One more for measure. Good. And then back to where you started. Just reassess, letting the body go. So you might notice that Margaret's head is off the floor. Really important to have a cushion. A block's a little bit hard, uh, or a rolled up blanket that's rolled up a few times. All right, so we're gonna get Margaret to roll on her back, do a knee hug. And from a knee hug position, she's going to actually roll, rock and roll back and forth. So just rocking up and down. Now, if you have got one of those spines that actually doesn't round comfortably and you feel like when you do this, Margaret's got quite a long back and so she does have a little struggle with this one. It's, but she's making a real effort to push her vertebra back so that she's got a, a massaging effect all the way through. And then when you come to sitting, sit up tall and we're going to put Margaret back on something there so she's got that under her buttocks and you might want to face back towards this yep, direction and we're going to sit cross-legged and do some twisting from here good might get you to come a little further forward too oh yeah bring that one in and just sit on that one for the moment which one do you prefer yeah, <coughs> we could start with this yeah so for the very beginners the higher you go the better <laughs> yep. All right. So for beginners, uh, you want to basically go higher so that your hips are higher than your knees. You never want to be sitting with your knees up like this, as you can see, I would have a very limited stability and I would be creating too much tension in my abdominals. So you've got to relax and you want to have that feeling of being grounded and then growing up from there. So we're going to do a simple twist. So you can make it optional with the arms, whether you inhale all the way up and then on an exhalation turn, using uh, something behind, yep, got a bit of height. And again, the front ribs are the ones that are assisting here. The back ribs receive, receive the twist. Tuck your chin slightly in and push the back of the neck. Good, lovely. So we've got a ground and effect. Inhale, come back to the front. Inhale and repeat to the other side, grounding, twisting, trying to keep the base of the body down, 
and then the spine nicely elevated and lengthening. Good. And from there, come back and we might just get you on a little bit lower. We're gonna fall off that one. Okay, and from there we'll add a side bend. So a side lateral bend. We might put that down for your elbow. You could go down and over, keeping the buttocks there. No, that's it. Yeah. Just pop the hand down, I think it's probably easier. So you just have to assess, kind of keep that buttock down, trying to allow. So once you've allowed that lateral stretch, then you allow the these base ribs to come round and you turn the top chest up. Optional of looking up or looking forward or looking side. Inhale and come up, try the other side. Exhale over, pressing the hand or the elbow down and hold for a few seconds. And then twist a little bit more, turning the under ribs up and the top chest back. And inhale and come up. Cascade forward. So you're gonna go all the way forward. Good. And here you could support the head, let the head soften and release. Good. And inhale up. Now we're going to maneuver towards a wall here. So bear with us. We're going to turn you around so we can get close to a wall. And Margaret's going to come, yeah, I think this one might be easier, and you can turn your feet, and then you can push against the, that one. Okay. So it's optional whether you want something under the buttocks. Do you feel like you're uneven through your hips? No. It's oh. good. And then start to turn and press. So here, as she's elevating the spinal column and turning, she wants to make sure that her hips stay down. Yeah, so that's why I say sometimes you might need a blanket underneath. And if you're right at a wall, you can be using the hands, yeah, like you were pushing. And then gently turn it, go back through and go to the other side. That was tricky. <laughs> you got to turn. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Turn your whole back and put your feet towards the middle of the room. There you go. Good. Excellent. And gently around. Now, make sure the buttocks are down and not on the feet. Beautiful. Yeah, that's the one. So they can come right back to me. Yeah, and that one can come in. Ground through the buttocks. I'll go a little closer to the wall. Good. And then lift up and turn. So I'm just going to get you to go a little more that way. There we go head over and try and anchor the two buttocks. So you may need to play around with whether or not you feel like one side needs a bit of a prop. There you go, a little bit of height. Yeah. Allowing that lovely sense of feeling of the feet grounded Sorry. and the spine up. Um, you're right, get this one painted, Margaret, up here. 